In year three, we've been exploring a new book called Rabbi's Raw, and we have been writing a recount about what Ravi got up to in the story. I've got Miley here just to answer a few questions, just so that you get a bit of an understanding about what the story is about and who the characters are. Okay, Miley, so what? who are the characters in Ravi's Raw? Ravi and his dad, his sister, Star and his brothers. Brilliant. And did you enjoy this story, Miley? Yes. Why did you enjoy it? Because I liked where he turned into a tiger. Why did Ravi turn into a tiger? Because he didn't, he wasn't allowed on the big slide because he was too small. He didn't go on the monkey bars because I was too high and he couldn't go on the logs because I was too wide. So what happened to him? He got really, really... Angry. And what was the special word that we learnt for angry? Furious. He did, didn't he? Would you recommend it, recommend this book to somebody else, Miley? Yes. Why would you recommend it? Because the way he turns into a tiger is really cool how he, like, pops out a tail. So you think people will enjoy that too? Lovely. Thank you very much, Miley. I've now got Marcus, who's going to read some of his recount for you. The children worked really hard on this. They practiced sequencing the story after we'd read it only a few times. Then they planned their own recount before writing it and editing it themselves. So here's Marcus with his version of Ravi's Roar. Ravi was not an ordinary boy. He lived with his dad, two brothers and sister. But Ravi was the youngest and smallest in the family. Most of the time, Ravi liked being the smallest, but sometimes it wasn't great. One day, Ravi and his family went for a delicious picnic and decided to race to the train. Ravi came last in the race. Then, on the train, his brothers and sister got their own comfortable seats, but Ravi had to share a seat a seat with his dad and dog. When they arrived at the park, they played an exciting game of hide and seek, but Ravi couldn't find anyone. After that, he went to play on the playground, but Ravi could not play on anything. The monkey bars were too high, the logs were too wide, and the slide was too big. Ravi got very cross and his face turned red, so his dad told him they would go and get an ice cream. When they went to get the ice cream, they had another race and Ravi came last. Ravi wanted the ice cream, but the shiny ice cream van ran out of ice cream. That had done it. Ravi started to turn into a tiger. He bursts a, a furry tail and two pointy ears and a stripy body. He roared really loudly and went to his bigger brother and roared to him to get his ice cream. And his brother gave his ice cream nervously. He went to the adventure playground and did everything Ravi couldn't. He leapt up to the monkey bars and had so much fun. Then he noticed that no one wanted to play with him. He sat down on the bench and was sad, not cross. He, he thought what had made him cross. His family came and Ravi said sorry. His family forgave him and they hugged him, and Ravi became a boy once more. Thank you, Marcus. That was beautiful reading.